Today we're going to do some grilled turkey legs. We're going to do these on the PG-500 and what we'll do is we're going to sear them on the direct side and then we'll move them over onto the indirect side and let them cook. So we're going to start by seasoning them and we're going to make our own rub. We're going to take one tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of black pepper, table or half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a half a teaspoon of sea salt. We're going to mix that all together. Kind of one of those secrets that we use in the barbecue world to get our seasonings to stay on our meat product better. A lot of times we'll rub the meat with mustard. This does a couple of things for it. The vinegar and the mustard tends to help break down the turkey skin and then it'll also help our um, seasonings adhere to the turkey. So we're going to take just a little bit of yellow mustard and we're going to rub that onto each one of our turkey legs just generously. You can see the mustard really helps the seasoning to adhere to our turkey legs. Once we get them seasoned, we're going to go out and put them on the grill. We'll cook them on the PG-500 and we're going to start them on the direct side and we're going to sear them for about two minutes on each side. And then we'll turn them about a quarter turn and let them uh, sear all the way through. Once we get them seared, then we'll move them over to the indirect side and we're going to cook them for about 60 minutes at 300 degrees until they reach an internal temperature of 180 degrees. We'd like to time it so that at about 20 minutes left into our process, we're going to come back and recoat them with just a little bit of our mustard and that'll help make that skin really um, crisp up and be nice. We have our finished turkey legs now. We cooked them on the grill until they were 180 degrees internal temperature. You can see that as we coat them with uh, mustard that last time, they didn't brown up really well, but they look nice and pretty. Uh, gives them a little bit of a yellowish color along with the brown. And um, so these are ready to eat. Great idea for um, fairs and camping and those kind of things. And um, we hope that you'll enjoy this recipe. If you'd like more information about Cook Shack, give us a call at 1-800-423-0698 or visit us on the web at cookshack.com.